The Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord modding scene remains impressively strong in 2024, despite Tailworld's best efforts to break existing mods every other update. While there are many historical mods available and in development, Bannerlord's unique gameplay mechanics are also a perfect playground for some of the most amazing fantasy worlds. So in this video I want to give you guys a quick overview of the top 5 fantasy overhaul mods you can play right now. Starting off with Realm of Thrones, a Game of Thrones based mod that brings the world of George R. R. Martin's epic fantasy universe to Bannerlord. Realm of Thrones takes place during the War of the Five Kings. There are 28 playable cultures, 4 playable races and a massive map that includes all of Westeros and Essos, featuring all the major houses and characters from the series. Recently the mod also added some amazing handcrafted scenes like Dragonstone, the Red Keep and Winterfell, along with countless custom troops, armor and weapons. Besides all these amazing assets, Realm of Thrones has also implemented a few new game mechanics. For example, naval travel and boat battles. When you engage someone on the open sea, you will get a boat scene to battle it out on the ships. Similar to the Serve as a Soldier mod, there is an enlistment option that lets you serve as a soldier under a lord or mercenary clan. The mod also features dual wielding, which requires specially crafted swords. And there are traders for certain troops, like Giants or the Unsullied, that can only be bought from those traders. And lastly, what would a Game of Thrones mod be without dragons? Yes, they somehow managed to mod rideable dragons into Bannerlord. You can use them both on the world map and the battlefield, and they can cause absolute havoc with their fire attacks. Realm of Thrones is still in active development, with new stuff being added pretty regularly. There is not enough time here to give credit to all the amazing assets and features of this project, but I highly recommend checking it out. It is definitely one of Bannerlord's absolute best conversion mods. Next on the list we have The Wheel of Time, a mod that was recently revived after being abandoned by the developers some time ago. For those who don't know, The Wheel of Time is a series of fantasy novels that spans 14 main books. It is renowned for its intricate world building, complex characters and cultures inspired by various mythologies and philosophies. The mod features a custom map of the series expansive world, including iconic locations such as the White Tower, the city of Tarvalon and the Blight. The troop trees have been overhauled with over 200 custom made armors and several custom made weapons. There are 22 playable cultures in the mod and many custom characters. All the vanilla starting equipment has been replaced, allowing you to start as a lowly commoner, a wasteland warrior or even as one of the forsaken. Magic comes in the form of the One Power, a mystical force wielded by certain individuals, known as channelers. The mod features 17 magical effects and offensive powers. Some of the effects look rather basic, but they are expected to receive a visual upgrade in future updates. Also the current spellcasting animations, that just seem to be the crossbow and throwing animations, look a bit out of place, so maybe they can work something out there too. But overall, the revival and continuation of this project is a significant enrichment for the Bannerlord community. Moving on, we have Full Invasion 3 Lord of the Rings. This is a PvE co-op mod that lets you replay the Battle of Helm's Deep from the Lord of the Rings. On a server with up to 300 players, you fight against waves of Saruman's Urukai. The mod features a class system where you can choose to play as an archer, infantry or cavalry. There is also a round-based progression system. During a match you can earn EXP and unlock better armor and weapons. With enough points you can also unlock heroes like Legolas or Aragorn. The EXP points reset after each game, so there is no permanent progressions, like in an MMO for example. The Helm's Deep castle map looks amazing and the atmosphere with the heavy weather effects is really cool as well. The mod is still relatively new and the developers have put out a roadmap that shows very ambitious plans to add more maps, more hero models, factions and more. The other Lord of the Rings mod, Kingdoms of Arda, which is probably Bannerlord's most anticipated mods in general, is still in close development. They haven't shown any progress recently, but they are still working on the project. Next we have the Old Realms, 
a Warhammer Fantasy mod that is set during the age of Karl Franz's ascension to the throne. The mod has been in development for years and has accumulated an impressive amount of high quality content. Currently there are four playable cultures, Empire of Man, Vampire Counts, Britonia and Musilion, with many more factions planned for future updates. For each culture you can choose a career path that unlocks different skills and perks. These choices significantly affect your playstyle, similar to how character classes work in an RPG. For example, in the Vampire faction you can choose between the melee combat focused Blood Knight path and the Vampire Nobility path, which lets you use dark spells and necromancy. Besides a vast amount of custom troop, armor and weapon assets, the Old Realms features the most fleshed out magic system in any Bannerlord mod. There are seven different kinds of magic lore you can specialize in. Fire, Heaven, Light, Life, Beast, Necromancy and Dark. Spells can be learned from the Maesters and you can access different spells during battle, whereas different spells have different cooldowns and mana costs. There are also custom spell casting animations and spell effects. In addition to a custom world map, the mod also features many amazing scenes. The level of polish and attention to detail is unparalleled. You can walk into a random town and think, wow, this is the best scene I've ever seen. I think it's fair to say that the Old Realms is currently among the best, if not the absolute best, total conversion mod on the market in terms of quality and gameplay mechanics. And last but not least, we have Realms Forgotten, a fantasy overhaul that I have already covered twice on this channel. Set about a thousand years ago in Aerith, a continent plagued by chaos, this mod showcases a world where competing cultures clash for dominance and war is a constant threat among every faction. The mod stands out as the only one on the list not based on a famous franchise. While there are similarities to Lord of the Rings, Dungeons and Dragons and other worlds, the lore of Realms Forgotten is entirely self-created. The mod features 8 playable factions and several minor and mercenary factions. The vanilla troop trees have been almost completely overhauled at this point and each faction has its own strengths. For example, Alvians have expert archers while the realm of men has strong infantry. The mod also features magic spells and items that have various effects, naval travel, a custom main storyline, new skills and much more. A really cool feature is that players and the eye must spend influence points to recruit troops from foreign cultures. And during times of war, recruitment between warring sides is not possible, which increases the importance of various mercenary troops. The mod development is very active, with ambitious plans on their roadmap. They also have a Patreon, where they offer early access to the newest version of the mod, for a few bucks. What you see here in this video is content from the free version. While I understand that they need some money for their ambitious development plans, I also understand that not everyone can or wants to pay to play. Realms Forgotten is one of my personal favorite mods. I just love the fact that they create a new fantasy universe and bring it to Bannerlord. I know a few minutes of spotlight can't do these amazing projects justice, but I wanted to give you guys a short and digestible impression of the current best fantasy mods in Bannerlord and what you can expect when going into each one of them. Let me know in the comments what your favorite fantasy mod is or what you're looking forward to the most. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to not miss out on future videos. As always, thank you all for watching and see you soon.